Come on out of there, Ginny. It's not going to work. Not this time. Not ever again. Just like her. Just like your mom. You got a light? Jesus, God, it's cold. You waiting for the bus to Los Angeles? That's where I'm headed. Good place to disappear into. That's all I'm told. Hey, how about a little Christmas spirit, huh? Nothing like something warm on the inside when it's cold outside. Look, I'm just offering you a drink, that's all. It's Christmas Eve, for God's sake. over and sit down. I don't bite without an invitation. investigation now suspect homicide. The grisly details of Virginia Monroe's death bear a strong similarity to two other deaths, one in Florida, the second in Texas. 16-year-old Margaret Barrington's Shoot. body was discovered October 23rd by two Cub Scouts in the outskirts of the Florida town of Madison. She had been missing for several days. Nancy Davidson, the 30-year-old stripper, was killed November 15th in the plains west of Florida, in Texas. The wounds suffered in each case were identical in nature, and all three women were pregnant. Police are unable to discern a motive and have no suspect. In fact, Hello? Yesterday, law enforcement officials oh, Carla! I was just watching your brother on TV. I can barely hear you. You sound like you're still in New York. Oh, I don't understand. Oh, I know, but I... I suppose so. difficult to shrug them off. What? In any case... Oh, yes, it arrived yesterday. From Matador, Florida. Right now. All right. Hang on a minute. Despite 
Despite the Western progression of these atrocities, local police downplayed the notion that L.A. may be the next target. I spoke earlier with Lieutenant Calvin Hendricks. There has been no incident in a large metropolitan area and nothing to indicate that this pattern will change. So Angelino shouldn't feel threatened that this grisly death occurred so close to home. Oh, Carla. They're beautiful. Just what I needed. Thank you, sweetheart. Oh, already? Well, let's just say we have enough to concern ourselves. I'll have to take this one on, too. Oh, be nice. I'm Clay Dwyer reporting. Merry Christmas to you, dear. Thank you, Clay. Bye-bye. On side, Sonia Beardsley celebrates her 105th birthday today. The key to her longevity... She says, you are what you eat. <laughs> you know, I'm enough of a Scrooge that if you spend too much, I'll take this back. Oh, hush. You spend too much and you're not taking it back. Oh, Emily. <laughs> Grandma's earrings. Oh, I suppose I should have given them to Carla, but I just couldn't bring myself to do it. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe you. Thanks, Mom. Well, you're not taking that back, Buster. Uh, okay, I'll time for the grand finale. Okay. Uh, well, what does that mean? We saved the best for last. Oh, come on, you two. You've already done more than you should have. Well, I'll tell you the truth, it was kind of for us, too. Well, now what? Where is it? I can't believe you can't see it. I'll give her a couple of months. It'll be all too obvious. You're kidding. You're going to be a grandmother. Oh, <laughs> I was sure I wouldn't live to see the day. <laughs> <laughs> well, we had to do something so you wouldn't rent my room out. Now you can turn it into a nursery. Now, don't start, Clay. I'm not going to change my mind. I can use the money as well as the company. Well, it was worth a shot. Sorry, Junior, no room at Mom's. Oh, <laughs> you're gonna have a baby! Yep. <laughs> so, when are you going to get married? Nestor de Valier. A friend of mine told me about the sign in the window for the room to rent. I hope it's still available. Oh, yes, it most certainly is available. I'm Emily Dwyer. Oh, would you like to see the room? Oh, I'm sorry. It's all right, Emily. I'm sure it will be fine. I'm looking for a little place quiet out of the way that I can call home. Welcome home, Nestor. Please, come in. Be careful, dear. Something's burning. Oh, Nestor, come and sit down. I have a surprise for you. Emily, something's burning. Oh, my rose. <laughs> brown along the edges, but they'll be fine. 
What's going on? I whipped up a little get acquainted dinner for us. I told you I eat out. Oh, but it's pouring outside. I always eat out. I have a little bit of all sorts of things. I'm sure you'll find something to your liking. There's vegetable and pasta if you don't eat meat. That's not it. Then you'll love the house special. Hot roast a la Dwyer. Emily, please don't. A recipe handed down for generations. No one can resist your taste. Emily. Oh, one bite won't kill you. No! shouldn't have done that. Wait, Dwyer? Yeah, I'm calling about your mother. Who is it? Oh, this is Mr. Hernandez over at McIntyre Meat Company. Your mother always buys her meat here. Pork chops every Thursday. I remember. How are you, Mr. Hernandez? 20 years she hasn't missed a Thursday. And if she did, she always called. Until this week. Have you tried calling her? Hey, I'm sure everything's fine, Mr. Hernandez. I'll have her call you after I talk to her. Uh, thanks for your concern. Something wrong, honey? Uh, I'm sure it's nothing. Stop by anyway. You want to go? Sure. Let's go. Okay. Hello. Hi, John. Um, no, no, actually, he's not. All right. I'll give him the message. Okay. All right. Bye, bye. What did he want? He wants you to work. Seems your desert killer has decided to pay a visit to L.A. Oh, great. Someone there? I'm with the power company. Just here to read your meter. What a stroke of luck. It seems my power has gone out, and I'm a little hesitant to try and check the fuses myself. I'm gonna give you a hand. I'd really appreciate it. Yeah! Think about turning on the lights. Mom? She's asleep, Clay. At six o'clock? Your mother's been out of sorts for a few days. Oh, what the hell do you mean, out of sorts? Why didn't she call me? She hasn't been able to keep anything down. She didn't want to be a bother. I took care of her. Why didn't you answer the phone? Emily was in no condition to talk to anyone. I didn't think... Mom? You must be Alice. Yes. Clay, Mom. Clay? What on earth are you doing here? I was worried about you, crazy woman. You close the door, the light hurts my eyes. Sure. Sorry. Much better. Thank you. So why didn't you tell me you were sick? Nesta took care of me. I didn't want to worry you. Well, you did. Even Mr. Hernandez was worried. My pork chops. I 
completely forgot I should have called him. And you. I'm sorry, sweetheart. But how are you feeling? I guess I'll live. Nestor gave me a little something to eat. It did me a world of good. Yeah, I was a little rude to him earlier. I should probably go apologize and let you get some more sleep. Don't go. I really feel much better. Okay, let me just go tell Alice you're okay. All right. Alice is downstairs with Nestor? Of course, why? Well, you better go down and tell her I'm okay. I'll get into something presentable. Go down for a while. Are you sure you're up to this? I'm sure. Go! Okay. Dead. What the hell? Your mother hadn't told me the good news. He says he can hear the baby's heartbeat. I have a heightened sense of hearing in my condition. Don't be angry, Clay. I have a real soft spot for babies and mothers-to-be. I've been a little obnoxious, Nestor, and I apologize. Don't give it another thought. How's Emily, honey? Uh, she's a little weak and pale, but uh, she seems okay. She's gonna come down for a few minutes. I'm ready for my close-up, Mr. DeMille. Well, Emily... Oh, speak of the devil. Now, take care of yourself and drink that tea. <laughs> I'm sorry I worried you. Okay, I'll try to stop by and see you tomorrow, right? All right. All right. Good night. Bye-bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. lying to my children. You all get used to it. The discovery of a mutilated female's body has led to speculation that a serial killer's westward path of brutality has led to Los Angeles. Emily, yet I'm coming. Seems to have been dead at least How do I look? Now. You look fine. Are you ready? The lot near the warehouse Just let me get my coat. Downtown Los Angeles. I'm starving.
Get in. Get in. Not you. Her. Now! I'll see you at home, mister. Talk to me like that. I'm still your mother. <laughs> still my mother. My mother just quietly and deliberately killed a man and ate him. That kind of blows all the old rules to hell, don't you think? Just explain. No, no, there's only one explanation. You're sick and you need help, and I'm gonna get it for Play. you. But first I'm gonna kill that son of a bitch. Let me tell you what I know. Just give me a few minutes to explain. done to my mother you should be grateful I didn't do worse Emily I think your son would rather see you rotting in your grave than sitting here with us like this Nesta, stop it. Uh, just defending myself Emily I think your son wants to hurt me oh, oh, Clay. Clay. you can't hurt me didn't your mother tell you no one can hurt me. You're crazy. Or your mother. No longer will she suffer from human frailties. You're crazy! It's true. That arthritis is gone. 
then it was psychosomatic in the first place. A logical explanation. I only think I need living flesh, right? And I somehow persuaded your mother that I turned her into a flesh eater. Hypnosis, perhaps. Flesh eater? Vampire, werewolf, ghoul, it's all the same. You really believe this crap, don't you? Yes, I did persuade your mother. But it wasn't hypnosis. Mister! You bastard! <laughs> I haven't had this much fun in years. Clay? Just leave me alone. Remember, Mr. TV Newsman? You expose me, you expose your mother. Yes, I'm trying to contact Lieutenant Calvin Hendricks. What the hell do you think you're doing? Precious son, what he was doing, Emily. Oh, you turn calls? Liar! Oh, that's what you promised. He was going to call the police. No, we can't have that, can we? I won't let you hurt him. You're no match for me, old woman. Leave him alone. The only bad thing about the kill is over much too quickly. No! Poor baby. Sleep tight, my little boy. Bad dream. It's okay. What, what time is it? What it's you... morning. You came over here last night to check on your mom. Oh yeah, mom. Oh, shit. I woke up and you hadn't come home. I called here, but no one answered. I was worried. Oh, I'm sorry, honey. It's okay. Is everything all right? What happened to your face? I uh, fell on the stairs. Oh, you poor guy. How's Emily? Uh, it's a little rough last night, but I think she's going to be all right now. She should see a doctor, Clay. Yeah, I know, but she's stubborn. Then bring one here. 
Stoney would come if you asked him to. I'm not supposed to call him Stoney anymore. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Dr. William Carruthers. Where's Nestor? Well, that's another thing. He's gone. Like he was never here before. That's pretty weird. Oh, shit. You have to go to work. They called. They brought you a clean suit. Big story, remember? Only one possible witness. Yeah, you know, positive ID uh, is unlikely. I'll issue another statement directly after the preliminary autopsy. <laughs> when will that autopsy be complete? Do we know? Are there any witnesses? Somebody is that the witness, here, sir? Uh -huh. Is that her? Can you say that? Get a statement, lady. Is that the witness? Come on, lady, do your job. Yeah. Yeah. Did you actually see yeah. that? Yeah. Uh, uh, can we have a statement, please? Right. Okay. Bennett. Something wrong? No, why? No questions? You always ask questions. Just, uh, not into it today. Messy business. Guess what, honey? Uh, I sold one of my paintings to a woman who wants to sponsor an exhibit for me. And then I bought this great baby cradle. Shit. Hungry and mad. Nobody's ever locked me in my room before. Ever. Sweet home, good. I can take care of myself, thank you very much. So you're hungry, that's good. What, what can I get you? Nothing. Mom, you have to eat. I know that. But you won't let me, will you? I'm sure I can whip something up that'll hit the spot. It's no use, Clay. You have to try! Please. All right. I'll try.
think she's going to be fine. All right, I'll call you tomorrow. I love you, too. Winston, come here. Excuse me. Get lost, lady. I'm afraid I am lost. Could you? Well, stop that way. You look like you could use a good hot meal. I ain't hungry. Now get the fuck out of here and leave me the fuck alone. could love Baxter. Now get off your ass and do your job or your first day undercover will be your last. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm leaving. Fourth and Webster. I'm going east. I'm going east and I'll kick your butt. Get out of here. Can I get a little privacy? All right, this could be it. All units on alert. Hey, what the hell you want? What's going on, Baxter? Hey, it's okay. <laughs> Baxter, come in. Damn it! All units proceed to the vicinity of Fort and Weapon. Stay where you are. Oh no, man. Hendrix, how about some backup here? I got some crazy late on PCP. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I mean it. If it comes down to me or you. It's gonna be you.
ground. I, I didn't throw anything. Now! Let him go. But, Lieutenant, I said let him go, Daniel. Lieutenant. Dwight, what the hell are you doing here? I followed a couple of cop cars. A hunch? Yeah, you could call it that. What did you see? I saw a man fall from the roof. What else? Nothing. You're gonna have to come down to the station anyway. In fact, I'll be asking some questions for a change. Daniel! Yes, sir. I want you to test the fire escape from the rooftop, and I want you to question all suspicious characters in the 20 block radius. Yes, sir. Well, Lieutenant, can I go now? I have to check on my mother. She's really sick. That's where I was going earlier. Well, I'm afraid your mom's just gonna have to wait a while. You can call her from the station. Yeah, but, but... don't push your luck, Dwyer. I'm not in a very good mood. I'm sorry, I... I had to go. You killed him. How did you know? You killed a cop. Oh, I didn't kill him. He fell. I didn't know he was a policeman. Also, if he would have been a bum, it would have been all right? It would have been... better. Look, I'm not going to argue with you. But I can't stop you. One set of bars on one upstairs window, that's not going to do you much good. Play, is this necessary? You got a problem? for me. Oh, 
We'll finish, Mr. Dwyer. Have a nice day. Hello. No high cards, Clay. Ah, she's feeling a little uh, under the weather right now, Carl. No, it's no big deal. It's just, uh... yeah, right. And how you doing? Yeah. Yeah, I, I'm sorry to hear about that, Carl. Look, let me go get her, and uh, I'll, I'll get back on later. Carla's on the phone. Carla? I wonder what's wrong now. Oh, well, you know how he overreacts. Well, how are you, dear? Oh, dear. Really? Oh, that's too bad. Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh, that's too bad. I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, really? Oh? Uh-huh. But I, I don't think he broke the skin. What the hell are you doing here? Don't mind him, Kathy. He's not as mean as he looks. Haven't your parents ever warned you about going into strange people's houses? <laughs> and don't come back! Kathy, wait! You forgot your money! What is your problem? I'm going crazy. What you need is to go home, get some sleep, and stop worrying about your mother. I understand. Clay told me you were still sick. Oh, well, last night I wasn't feeling very well, but I'm fine today. What are you doing here, Alice? John called again. He said you better get your butt to the coroner's office. I tried calling, but I couldn't get through. First it was busy, then no one answered. But you were sleeping so peacefully, I, I didn't want you to be disturbed. Well, you, you better get all the sleep you can, buddy. In a few months. Alice, you should go on and go home and let Mom get some rest. Uh, nonsense. We're going to have a nice little visit. For Mom? Me. Clay, I'm fine. Fine. I won't stay very long. Honey, go to work. be back as soon as I can. Go! <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> Van won't start. You're gonna have to give me a ride. Oh, great. Well, we'll have to have our little visit later. Come on, Mom. I'll uh, help you up to bed. Oh, uh, I'll go up in a little while. Thank you. I know you, Mom. If you don't go now, you'll stay down here all night till you get sick again. You don't want to go through all that again, do you? I don't want to take any chances. 
And stay well, Emily. You're treating me like some alien monster. Do you really think I would have hurt that precious little girl with her cookies? You're afraid for Alice and the baby, too, aren't you? That was Nestor's perversion, not mine. Why can't you believe that? When are you going to accept what you can't change? You're going to drive us all crazy. It'll be getting dark soon. You better go. You don't want to lose your job. The mutilated body of a man was found early this morning, possibly the latest in a string of murders that has baffled police for weeks. Craig Ryer is standing by live now at the coroner's office. Clay? Thank you, Marcia. Police have not yet released the identity of a body found by two employees at the front gate of the Forest Lawn Memorial Park. Police's effort to trap the killer has been fruitless, culminating in the death of an undercover police officer last night in downtown Los Angeles. We have determined the identity of the victim. Dr. William Carruthers, a 33-year-old resident of Los Angeles. Oh, no. It's Tony. Damn. God fucking damn it. Um, we'll have more on that story as it develops, and... We'll be right back after these messages. Oh. Stone. I can't believe it. I just talked to him. You what? I called him. About Emily. He said he would stop by and see her. I have to go see Mom. You have to get some sleep. You're falling apart. If you're worried about Emily, just call her. No, she... I don't want to wake her if she's sleeping. You're not making any sense. Look, you have to question everything I say. Now just get out of the car and stay out of this. I didn't know it was Stoney. I swear it. But it looks so different without his beard and long hair. And I'm so hungry, Clay. You can't imagine. He gets stronger every day. I got home last night. He was standing outside. He came here to help you. How was I to know? It could have been anybody. It could have been me. No, not you. I would never hurt you, Clay. You out. You don't have to. 
You can do it. What? Yes. You're smarter than I am. You'd never get caught. And it's easy to find someone. I'm your mother, God damn it! Don't I know you from somewhere? Oh, now don't go running away and breaking my heart again. <laughs> don't you want to buy a lady a drink? Beverly, what are you doing? This nice gentleman wants to buy me a drink, don't you? I thought you was going to be with me tonight. I will have the usual. All the same again. <laughs> Most kind. Most kind. I'm Beverly. And these are my hill. <laughs> What's your name, sweetheart? Clay. Clay. Oh, that's a nice name. Very down to earth. Did you ever have a tequila tickler? Well, first you take the lime. The lime. Like that. And the salt. Then. Sweetie. to now, lady. Lady? <sighs> that was a long ride. The cab fare is going to cost you extra. I already agreed to that twice. Well, I just don't want any surprises, that's all. My mother's upstairs. That was your mother? No way. Uh-uh. You call me a cab right now, you hear? You have picked the wrong lady, mister. It's not what you think. Yeah? Well, what the hell is it, then? My mother's confused. The last few days have been really, really hard for her. Keep talking. She's obsessed with her daughter, my sister. She hasn't seen her in years, so she cries all the time. So you want me to go upstairs and pretend to be the daughter? Carla. Carla. 
And I get the 25? And kept her. Oh, all right. I mean, what the hell? I had a mother once. I'll tell you you're here. No surprises. Damn dog. Yeah. Second door in your ring. Cash in advance. Pretending to be somebody's mother, somebody's sister, or somebody's little girl. Keep the cash and leave. All right. I mean, Jesus, just let me call a cab, will you? I was just going to wake you up. Coffee? How'd you get out? Don't you remember? Oh, you were very drunk last night. How did you get out? Well, you let me out. Mom. No, really. At four o'clock this morning, it was very bad. I can't believe you don't remember. Then all of a sudden, it was like a fever broke, and I was myself again. Where's your woman? Woman. Oh, the one you brought last night? Well, you must have taken her home. No. I called her taxi, I remember it. I said... Alice? Alice?
It's unnatural. <laughs> I'd forgotten just how absurd winters in Southern California are. What are you doing here? Whatever happened to hello? You know, how are you? Good to see you. Oh, I'm sorry, baby. How are you? I've left him. I just hopped on a plane, packed my bags, didn't say a word, and came running home to mother. Where? Clay, he's struck again. I know. Henry will meet you downstairs in five minutes. You'll have to get someone else, John. Bullshit. I'm serious. Well, I'm serious, too. You've had more than your fair share of screw-ups the last few days. If I send someone else this time, I'm sending someone else permanently. Do you understand me? Then you do what you have to do, John. And I'll do what I have to do. You're fired, Dwyer! I hope it's worth it! Hello there. Whose fur is this? <laughs> this fur right here. That's ridiculous. Who would bring a fur coat here? God damn it. Don't play these fucking games with me. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> Hi, honey. <laughs> oh, Clay. You look like hell. One would think you were the sick one and mother the nurse instead of the other way around. Well, she told you about that, huh? Mother and I always tell each other everything. You know that. Everything? Did she tell you all the details? Clay. Oh, I can't stand hearing about diseases. Oh, this one's oh. real interesting, see? She starts to... I think I smell some gas. Every day. Well, usually in the evening. Did evenings. you hear, Mother? Go check. Clay, Carla, open the front door and the windows. Uh, oh. Get some fresh air in here. What do you think you're doing? So tell me, what was the headline story today? I got fired, so I didn't get a chance to see it. You were fired? Another body found? Another mutilated, half-eaten body? I didn't do it. I told you what happened last night. And where is she? Who? The whore! I don't know. Oh, my. Sit. Clay, look at me. Do I look like I looked last night? Did you even check to see if it was the same woman? Is everything all right? I mean, I don't smell anything. Everything's okay. I shouldn't have panicked so quick. It's... This bug I've had plays tricks on me. Oh, you aren't going to go talking about your disease again, are you? No. Clay was just saying that he, he forgot something. He, he has to cut his visit short. I'm afraid that's what I have to do too, Mother. I'm sorry. Oh, but Carla, you just got here. I know. But Kippy Magruder has been insisting that I stay at her new place when I come to town. So I'm going to surprise her and do just that. Oh, Carla. I promise I'll stop by tomorrow. All right. Goodbye, Carla. If I'm wrong, I'm sorry. But if I'm right, you will be. Still no ID? Nothing on her when they found her. Fingerprints? For that, you would need fingers. Jesus. Yeah, I don't know. Party kind of a guy, anybody. So, so can, I get a, can I get a beer? Excuse me. Yeah. So, uh, where's your lady friend? I'm your dad, business. Have you seen her tonight? Of course I saw her tonight. I see Beverly every night. Thanks.
what? You didn't leave. I was going to. I've been sitting here for hours. So you're gonna stay? But you're going to have to go. But I can explain. <laughs> and I never thought I'd be hearing you say those words. Alice, I... No. I've been up all night and I can't think. But I... No! Call you at your mother's. Your mother's claim.
instant change. It's gradual, I think, like menopause. What are you doing? I got her fur. Your own daughter. She was a stranger. It was your own daughter! finally released the identity of the body found at a local garbage dump. Dental records identify her as Beverly Schnabel, a 50-year-old resident of Los Angeles. Ms. Schnabel had an extensive police record with numerous charges of prostitution no. and petty theft. The condition of the body indicates she was the latest victim in a killing spree that has left... <laughs> How can you do this to me? You know what you're doing to me. You're killing me. You are. Uh, I'm your mother, Clay. No, no. She doesn't die with you, but I will kill whatever you are. Right? To tell the truth, Alice, we'd like to talk to him about a woman. Oh. And she did something. She died. Murdered, actually. And you think? No, I don't. I'm a pretty good judge of character. Clay Dwyer's no killer. Let's keep an eye out for our friend.
Huh? <laughs> 